Hello everyone, and welcome back. I'm Anton, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the latest version of the Homebrew Browser, done by the OpenShop channel, which is a revival project for the Homebrew Browser. This new version will allow you to download your favorite emulators, homebrew apps, and games very easily. Anyways, before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see future content from the channel, and let's get started. For this tutorial, you'll need a soft modded Nintendo Wii that has the homebrew channel installed and that has the internet connection set up correctly. You also need a Wiimote, which it doesn't matter which one, whether it has the Wii Motion Plus or not built in. And finally, you'll need an SD card or a USB drive to store the files on, which has to be formatted to FAT32. First, we will need to visit the Open Shop channel site, which you can find in the description. From here, you will need to press the download button, and it shouldn't take too long as this file isn't large. Once it is downloaded, you'll have to extract the file using 7-zip for Windows or the Unarchiver for Mac. Once the file has been extracted, you will need to copy the Homebrew Browser folder into the Apps folder on your SD card or USB device. If you don't have the Apps folder, then you can just create one on the root of the SD card or USB. Now eject the device from your computer and put it in your Wii. Turn on the console and boot up the Homebrew channel. If everything is done correctly, you should see the Homebrew Browser application. Press it, then click the Load button, and it should begin booting up. If the process fails, it will exit you to the Homebrew channel, from where you can review your internet connection settings, or try the process again. But if everything goes correctly, it should just load up, connect to these servers, and open up with this interface. You can use the browser with the Wiimote, Nunchuck, and GameCube controller, so it works with pretty much every controller option. You can select from the top categories and then just select on what app you want to download. Clicking on an app allows you to read the description and what controller configurations it uses and then you can click the download button to get the app. Once it has been downloaded it will appear on your homebrew channel from where you can then load that application and it will work perfectly fine. Pretty much when it downloads the files it will go inside your USB or SD card device. So, what does the Homebrew Browser have? Well, you've got your emulators, apps, games, and a couple like demos and utilities also, which are pretty much just applications and games. So first, starting off with the emulators, you've got FCE Ultra GX, which emulates NES games. They look great, and there's a ton of options that you can customize. You can customize controller, configurations, you can use the Game Genie codes, and much more. Also, using the Wiimote will allow you to play games like Duck Hunt, so there's a lot of really cool options here. You've also got SNES 9X GX, which is the Super Nintendo emulator that offers the same amount of customizability as the previous emulator. And yes, you can play Mario Paint and Yoshi Safari if you want. The aiming isn't perfect, but it still works pretty well. And finally, in the last of the GX series is Visual Boy GX, which offers the same customizability as the former two, but you can run Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. You can even customize color palettes for the Game Boy games too. So I really recommend these three emulators because they're really polished and work really well. You can also download channel forwarders for the emulators, which allow you to access them very easily. However, you must have iOS 58 custom firmware installed in order to do so. If you want to head into the 3D realm, then you've got the Wii 64 emulator. This is a solid emulator that pretty much works with every configuration style and every game. If you use the Wiimote alone, you will have to use a gyro sensor to control the analog stick, which is pretty weird and not recommended unless you want to do some challenge or something like that, but pretty much the GameCube controller, Nunchuck, Classic controller, they all work here too, and like all the other emulators I mentioned. And you've got many other emulators also, such as for the Sega Genesis, Commodore 64, Neo Geo Pocket, and even the Virtual Boy. You've also got a DS emulator called Dezume, but the last time I checked, it didn't work too well, it's really slow, and even if you try speeding up the emulation using some of the settings it has, it still doesn't play very well, and doesn't look too great. So I don't recommend it. For apps and games, you have many different ones. You've got your file explorers, GPS, 
you've got your timers, even DVD players, then you've got Super Mario War, which is a fun game, even got a port of Duck Hunt on there as well, that's pretty much just built for the Wii, it's not like the emulator like I mentioned before, and you've got many other ones too that you can explore. So anyway guys, that's it for the video, if you did enjoy it, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below, and try to help each other out too, as I might not be able to respond to every single question. Also, check out the Discord server in the description as well, as you can get a lot of help there also. And I will see you guys in the next one.